Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are focusing on the royal family of Bridgleton Bay. Um, I have changed the outfit of Prince Johan. So as you can see, he's wearing the family colors of red. It looks like Queen Nina is still in her politician work outfit sort of thing. But what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to visit the uh, two royal families of Brindleton Bay um, so we can just kind of get to know them a little bit better. I also just want to spend some more time in this castle because it is so beautiful. It's so so pretty. I cannot get over it still. I also just, I'll show you kind of like the layout of Brindleton Bay. There's really not much though, I'll be honest, because I think that they were kind of leaving room for, not for like outcast but like King Jared wants to leave room for his close relatives and friends who don't really have anywhere else to go when they become adults um, just because of like if they don't inherit the family title uh, because there's too many of them and they don't marry into another title or something along those lines. I actually haven't had that yet um, but I'm realizing there's like a bunch of male sims that are grown up, but not very many female sims that are grown up, so I don't really know what to do with that. Um, I think that there might be like, I mean we have like a few that are teenagers, so they'll probably just have to kind of wait a little bit before they even marry or anything, um, but we'll just kind of have to see with that. So we are going to go ahead and visit the royal, not the royal family, we're going to go visit the Duke of Willow Creek. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go visit the Duke of Brindleton Bay and his family. So this is originally the Fang family who I believe they were in the gallery, I think. Um, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them from the gallery. So we're going to go ahead and visit them. Um, they do have a son that is Prince Johan's age. So maybe they can get to be friends and stuff as well. Okay, so we are at Big Brindleton Estate, which I guess is the name of the uh, Duke of Voice Springs house. It looks like there are some just slightly unfinished parts here too, so I definitely have to um, fix that. But, I mean, this is kind of a cool house. It looks a little old though, I'll be honest. It's pretty big. Um, but yeah, it just looks a little old. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and knock on their door. It looks like their door is actually, I think, over here. Um, not 100% sure. What is this? Why? Why I wanna let me knock on the door? Okay, nope, not jog in the rain. Why wanna let me knock on the door? What is going on here? I don't wanna jog there. I want to knock on the door. Okay. All right, knock on door. Yes, that is what we want to do. So I should probably have her change out her, her work clothes. Oh my gosh, they have a cat mailbox. Oh, I was kind of thinking of getting a pet because Queen Nina loves animals. So I think that we should get a pet for them. Yeah, none of our families have ever had pets before. I just never really kind of thought of it. Um, I'll be honest, I liked the pets yeah I guess it's just dogs dogs and cats for the Sims 4 but I loved the pets pack in the Sims 3 I loved the horses I loved being able to ride them I thought it was amazing when I could find a unicorn um I just oh the horses I think were my favorite part about that I didn't even really like play the dogs that much just because I don't know if there was a glitch in my game, but the dogs looked really funny. Um, so in here they look much better, but yeah. Oh man, I just, I loved that pack in The Sims 3. That was probably one of my favorite packs. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and introduce the entire family to the Duke's entire family. So it looks like the Duchess is in her bathing suit. So this is Duchess Lily, so we're going to, oh, it looks like we have met her before. Um, but we're going to just chat with her. And then, let's see, we can do a polite, oh, I guess we can't. We'll do a cheerful introduction. Um, so we'll introduce her, ourselves to her. And then I don't, aw, they were just hugging. That was so cute. Prince Johan, I don't know what it is about his face, but he kind of looks like, like a grown head on a kid's body or a toddler's body. Like his face just looks very mature to me for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the hair that makes him look that way. 
Um, but okay, so we're introducing ourselves to the Duke and Duchess. So we are going to let's see, where is the Duke? Oh, oh, and then we have their boy is here. So this is their boy, Sir Wyatt Brindleton. I chose the bowl cut for him because I cannot even tell you how accurate it is with the bowl cut. Asian families, they will give their boys, they will sometimes give their girls a bowl cut. It is hilarious. So I, I had to give it to him because I just knew that was so accurate. That is exactly what an Asian parent would give to their child. It's literally, I mean, my little brother had that haircut for so long. I cannot even, it literally just looked like my mom put a bowl on his head and just chopped the sides of it. So we are, we said we talked to the stranger. So we have a little bit of, oh, invite Sir White to Bob to music. That's super cute. Whoa, look at their basement, guys. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, what? What? I've never been down here before. Oh my gosh. They have a whole garden down here. What in the world is this? That is so cool. What? Oh, they even have yoga mats out here. This is so cool. Wow. The outside of this really makes you underestimate what's inside. Although it is a huge mess in here. I mean, seriously, do they need all of this stuff? Whoa, where are these stairs coming from? Oh my gosh. That is so cool, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa. Wait. Okay. So that is actually like outside. That's actually outside. I thought it was like just our basement that looked like that, but it's not. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Man, guys, people are so creative with their builds. I cannot do that stuff. Okay. So we need to find the Duke so we can introduce ourselves to him. So I, I'm pretty sure he is here. I'm pretty sure that King Jared has already met him before. So let me see if maybe we can just see if he's here at least or call him over or something. So yeah, so this is him, Duke Victor. So we'll send him an energized text. I don't, if the fact that I can't, well, no, I don't think you can invite someone to a lot if it's not your house. Um, so maybe he's just not here. Since technically King Jared has already met Duke Victor, I think we're just going to go ahead and travel to uh, the other royal, oh, oh my gosh, not the other royal family, the other noble family's home. We might even bring the Duke's family with us to go meet them. So I think we can do that. Why don't we do that? Uh, so we want to bring Queen Nina, Prince Johan. I want to, oh my gosh, Queen Alice does not wear that. What is wrong with this game? Please someone tell me why they do this because this is not in any of their outfit choices at all. It's ridiculous. I hate it. Um, so we are going to invite the Duke and Duchess. It doesn't look like we can invite them. But he knows them. It says that he's met them before. So it's fine. Okay, so we are now at the Brindleton family home, which is the Marquis of Brindleton's home. So we are going to introduce ourselves to everyone because I don't think that King Jared has met any of them yet. So we're going to do a friendly introduction. We'll do a cheerful introduction. Why is he sad? Because sad about evilness. <gasps> who's evil? That's interesting. I want to know who's evil. Uh, okay, so we're going to have Queen Nina also give a cheerful introduction. Okay, so we are meeting everyone. So this whole family, um, they have a daughter too named Malaya, who I do not see. Um, I'm going to have Prince Johan also. Can he just talk to strangers and introduce himself, sort of? Because I think it does give him, like, a little bit of a relationship with the Sims if, um, if he does the talk to stranger thing. So I'll have them do that. I don't know why Sir Marshall is taking a bunch of pictures. We'll also need to come back to Sir Marshall and Princess Anna because it seemed like you guys like that relationship a lot. Um, I like it. I think they go really well together. So I think that Princess Anna, she is going to pursue the acting career. Uh, so I'm not going to focus too much on that, though. Like whenever we do that or whenever she has work, I'll probably just send her alone. Um, but she should leaving the house pretty soon anyway so I'm not sure when Sir Marshall would be proposing to her they've kind of just started dating so 
I don't know if it'll be like too soon or anything, but yeah, so I just can't find Lady Malaya here. I thought she was here. So it looks like, let's see, why is the Countess, oh my gosh, wait. Oh, they're not the Marquis, they're the Earl. <gasps> Whoops. Aw, oh, man. Sorry, guys. I totally got that mixed up. So this is the Earl's House of Brindleton Bay. I need to change that um, in the managed world. Uh, so I thought it was the Marquis. So it's not. It's the Earl and the Countess. So I definitely need to change that. Um, it looks like there's something... Oh, okay. That's coming from the Countess. Uh, yeah... All right, I don't know where Lady Malaya is. It does look like there is an unfinished room here. Of course, in all of these houses, for some reason, there is an unfinished room. But yeah, I don't see her here. Um, but we'll have to have like a dinner party or something, invite everyone over because I think that'll be a lot of fun. I think that when we start getting more families that move into this world, that will definitely be cool too um, because it'll, it'll just add a little bit more to it because right now it's pretty empty. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think that our royal family, Brindleton Bay, should get a dog? Um, I think, I don't know. It'd be different. We haven't had a dog in any, um, in any world or any royal family yet. But this is also, like, the world that came with the pets pack. So I feel like they should have a dog because also Queen Nina loves animals too so I think that she would really want one. I don't know if there's too much else in Brindleton Bay to be honest for you guys to see. I can just kind of go to the map again for you guys to see that. This is uh, the Brindleton Bay layout so we have the Maritime Museum that is where King Jared and Queen Nina eloped. We have a spa here. We have the Salty Paws Saloon, which I think already comes with the world. I don't think I added that. We have the Brindleton Bay Park, which is where Princess Anna and Sir Marshall, where they started dating, that was kind of like their first date, was the Brindleton Bay Park. We have our restaurant here that, oh yeah, it's not the marquee. I want to, I can't change that now because I'm not in managed worlds, but I will change that. So the Earl of Brindleton Bay, he owns that with his family. So they own the Brindleton Yacht Club. Um, they're probably going to buy the Brindleton Pet Clinic soon too. We have the park, which already comes with the world. I didn't do much to change that. I've added all of these houses here. Um, so we have several. that The Brindleton Family Home. Wait, Brindleton Family Home. I'm pretty sure this is also called the Brindleton Family Home. I don't think that's the same house, though. Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't think so. So anyway, so uh, the Brindleton Bay Estate. The Brindleton, another Brindleton family home. Okay, so that looks similar though. It's not. I don't think it is. Oh, no, it's not. It doesn't have the same trees. Uh, yeah, but okay, so there's just a lot of Brindleton family homes. That's probably what I searched when I was looking for houses to fill up this world. Um, and then of course we have our Duke's home here. Man, that house is huge and it's on the coast. It looks so nice. Um, and then I have this little, not little, that's huge. The Golden French Manor, gold words. The Golden French Manor, which is only a one-bedroom home. So that one was reserved for Queen Nina's parents, but they actually passed away before they really got a chance to live in it. So I don't know who that's going to be safe for because there's only one bedroom in it, but it's, I think it's beautiful. I haven't actually like gone in, gone in, but I saw it in the gallery in some pictures. So yeah, so this is our Brindleton world. I love it. I think it's really great. I of course love the palace more than anything else um, and I think it's a really great place for Queen Nina and for King Jared to have started their lives together. We'll definitely move some more people in here. Um, we'll kind of like get the ball rolling for that. I just think that King Jared he's kind of like reserved it and I know in the other worlds we don't have too many other like places that other sims live other than just the noble families um just because I only have like so much space in my game um but hopefully when I get a new laptop that'll be fixed soon uh so I'm gonna end this episode here I am actually working on a another series too it's not really a series it's more like a mini series I guess but it's uh, a kind of a challenge that I made up myself um so I've seen like people do like my Instagram followers control my sims and my Bit life, bit life controls my sims. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. But 
I'm going to do my boyfriend controls my Sims because my boyfriend Jake uh, isn't really, he hasn't really played Sims that much, um, but we've played Animal Crossing together and he does some really weird stuff. <laughs> so I think that he, I think that you guys would have a lot of fun seeing what he does um, for our challenge together. So you guys will get to meet him and, or like, you know, see him and you guys can look for that in the next few days for that video. But uh, yes, we're going to stop this episode here. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notifications. And don't forget to share this video and tell your friends because I definitely think that a lot of people would enjoy this series. And I will see you guys the next episode.